guys, here we go. This is the walkthrough of what is available this week. Let's see what we can find. Oh, some glass stuff. Uh, projector, vintage glass. I always look for if there's a name brand on those clocks. Looks like a projector. Ooh, here's a gaming system, guys. Looks like an Xbox. Xbox. Records. This looks like a jacket of some sort. Marine jacket. Leather. Okay. Um, so far it's looking like last week had more items too. Always look to see if there's any Cutco. Nothing there. Um, someone's unleashing all of their warning stuff. Oh. A religious. A lot of religious. No horror movies. Okay. Um, man, I can tell you already that they're not going to do as good this week as they did last week. Here's some. Oh, I don't know what the brand is, but there's a receiver of some sort. Um, purse. I don't know what this is. Mark Jacobs, I guess. I don't know. And these old lanterns, usually you look on the very bottom and it'll give you the year, especially on the old Coleman lanterns. So keep that in mind, guys. Check uh, no, none cut go. I don't see any cut go there. Some tools. That's Levi's jacket. Some hats, nothing of consequence. Um, people that collect M and M's, that could be a good one. Um, cards. There's some Little River Band. Band in Tijuana. Right, these don't look like anything crazy to me. Kingston Trio, Melody Sanctuary. Now I'm getting the gist that these are not. Now, there's an autograph. Okay. Whatever George Dent is. If this this is plastic, but if this was a metal one, this would be a good one. Uh, sometimes no, that's not so. Make sure. These little TVs, guys, especially the older TVs, they can get some good money. People like to play their video games on them, the old school retro video games. There's some old toys, what is that all about? modern and ain't worth anything but the old Millennium Falcons yeah there's money there oh, toys old plush if the cards are in here there's a Pokemon all right let's see if there's any Hard to do when I'm trying to hold the camera for you guys. Bear with me. All right, back to you. All right, here we go. Old cards. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the date on the bottom. Um, the old school ones that are from like 1999, I think. The base set ones. Don't look like they're very well taken care of, but you never know. There's people that go crazy on Pokemon. Uh, Marlboro Gear. 
Look at that thing. That's like a long trench coat jacket with the tag. That could be a good bolo item. Marlboro gear jacket. Hmm. Okay, I can't see up there. How does that make any sense? Put things up there so people can't see them. Here, I'm gonna... stuff okay rockets no old there I have to go quick now I overheard them asking if I was still here so let me go real quick painting no cards people don't use rubber bands it's terrible people that use those rubber bands are just Insane. Don't do that. And look at that. Free floating cards. Mm -hmm. Red flag for sure. Okay. That's it, guys. That's the walkthrough. Alright, y'all. I promised you I'd give you a layout of everything that I got. Do a quick pan and then I'm going to go through it. Yeah. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. All these t-shirts. I told you I would get them. I got them. All right, so this old school phone and this phone were together. I mainly bought it not because of the Mickey Mouse. I bought it because of this. This is a bolo, guys. I bought both of these for 10 bucks, but this phone alone sells for about 60. So keep that in mind if you ever see one like that. On this huge scale, nobody was bidding on it, but I figured I'll put some batteries in it. Hopefully it, it works. If not, I didn't pay. I paid $2 for it. So hopefully it works. I can use it as a shipping scale at my warehouse. This right here, I kind of got in a bidding war with somebody and I kind of spent more than I wanted to, but um, I got like for 20 bucks. Um, the bag, these, this Ram leather old school vintage bag is worth at least what I paid. These I already told y'all, keep an eye out for, but not these. These aren't as good, but th there are some that have the pom-poms on top. Those can be worth a lot of money. I mainly got this bag because of this putter. When I showed y'all the comps on this on my walkthrough last week. Um, in fact, if you haven't seen this video yet from last week, I'll drop the link so you can see it because I did run and I showed photos on that. That's like a $200 club, hopefully. This I got for two bucks. Brand new with tag, vintage Logo Athletic Cowboys. That'll get me at least 20, but I'm thinking more. So I got both of those. This no one was bidding on. And it's brand new in box. Something with a Cadillac visor. I think I looked it up and they're worth like 40 bucks. Something like that. This whole new box of like trucker mesh caps, guys. Uh, they're all... Uh, I don't know if they're all snap right now, some of them are different. But what I was thinking is I can get online and I can order up some like patches and I can put my own like patch on the freaking thing and then I can have various hats for like giveaways and merch or whatever, I don't know. But for the price I paid, I paid 10 bucks for the whole box. So like 50 cents a hat, I'll take that. Uh, here's another bolo. I paid 10 bucks for both of these. Um, everybody knows Converse, obviously, and they're actually in really good shape. But these right here, these five finger shoe, um, and they're actually in really good shape. You ever see these shoes with five fingers? This brand is called Vibram. I'll drop the comps in the video here. But, um, these are actually in really good shape. I'll clean them up a little bit and I should get, I'm thinking about 50 bucks for those things. Now, all of these shirts, guys, I mean, I'm not going to spread them all out here because I'm freaking hot right now. I'm sweating as I'm talking to you. Um, all these shirts, like I paid on average like $4 a box. So, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, 40 bucks. I think for all of these, maybe even less, some of them are $2, but all these shirts, I'm either going to sell in my booth, give them away as giveaways, and then some of them 
go to Christmas gifts to my family up in Ohio, which they're very strong in their Irish heritage. So that's kind of the plan on those. Um, this right here, barely anybody was bidding on. BK model television analyst. This thing is bigger, man. They didn't do a good job of taking photos on it, but that thing right there, I'll tell you what, I saw some serious comps on that thing, so I bid on it. And in this, y'all know I like art. And I ended up only paying 30 bucks for this thing. And it is signed. And then on the back, it has some information. I guess it came off of a Carnival Magic cruise ship. And I just thought it was cool with the frame and everything else. It's ready to hang. So for 30 bucks, I bought that. So all in, everything that you see here, guys, I spent plus taxes, fees, everything else, I spent $200 on. And I should get my money back just off of that one ping putter. And uh, just in case, so this phone, that plastic phone down there, and then the pink putter. So all the rest is gonna be gravy, guys. Ah, all right, I'm gonna load the car, call it a day. Man, it's getting hot down here, holy crap.